Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider on the PlayStation 3. It's part 12. Yes, part 12. And it's actually the middle of the night. It's uh, 2 a.m. It's not too late, really, for me, because I really have insomnia, so I usually stay up to much, much later, unfortunately. So you can thank Insomnia for getting many videos. We are now still planning over to the Endurance. Ouch, that looked like it hurt. Yeah, so there's even guys on the Endurance too. I wonder why they are on the endurance. It's a bit strange. Like, um, there's, yeah, and there's a guy there, so be really careful. It's really strange because there's these uh, Russian guys, like, everywhere in, on the whole island. Like, uh, imagine just how many of these guys are on the island. Like, how many? It must be thousands. It's really, really crazy. And yeah, you can't just stand there, they won't actually ever move, which I was just standing here waiting for them to move, but they never will, so you actually have to go out. And it's strange they hadn't seen me yet, but there it did, he did see me there, so... And this guy has huge armor, so be careful with this guy. He's very strong, as you can see. Oh my god, look at what he's doing! He's almost like... Killing uh, Lara just by holding her throat. And yeah, we need to take him out, of course. He's the biggest guy we've encountered yet in the game. Like, look at him! He's huge! So you can only shoot his face. That's the only thing that's out. So you need to shoot his face. Oh my god! Wow, that was actually really violent, bloody and extreme. That was crazy. Uh, but for doing that, we got a new gear, the Rope Ascender, and I love this gear so much. It will kind of help you to pull ropes, I guess, much, much quicker. And for example, when you're going across those zip lines, you can just zip line quickly, like straight up. It's such a great uh, gear. And it's really unfortunate that we actually haven't um, had it before in the game because that would have made a lot of a lot of things much easier. But I guess it's like it's super strong, so I kind of understand why they hadn't had it before because it's yeah, it's it helps a lot, I guess. Yeah, Lara, a lot of things have happened. It's been a long time since you were at home. Alright, so it appears that... Um, it appears that they have actually found Alex. But as they also said, uh, the ship is actually drowning or going down, I guess. It's kind of split on the middle as uh, Titanic. Uh, yeah, the ship is actually going down. This ship is huge. It really is huge. The ship is going down, so we need to get down here quickly and find Alex before the ship drowns and uh, disappears into the ocean and we can never get to it again. So yeah, we need to get to him before that happens. Oh, there he is! 
There is Annex. What are you doing here? What's going on? Are you alright? I've been down in here. It doesn't look good. No. Damn it, the door's blocked. Just hold on. I'm going to get you out of there. Okay, just hurry. Alright, so we have to use the rope ascender and this thing to figure out how to get Alex out of there. The track's blocked, so we need to find a way to get that away. As she says, she needs to get up there. So I just made a cut here till I actually found out how to do it. It's not that difficult. As you can see in the ceiling, uh, you can basically see where this uh, thing is supposed to go. So you just have to um, move it around. It's kind of like Tetris almost. And then eventually you'll get up here. And you can kick that away. Okay, got it. And then we just have to move this again so that you can go straight for what's blocking the door. Oh God, I've got to get in there. Alex. And now Alex oh, isn't answering there. anymore. All right. So we need to get in there quick before something happens to him something bad happens. Hopefully not. I really do like Alex, actually. He's one of my favorites uh, for the from the crew. He really is. I think Jonah is my absolute favorite, though. Or maybe Roth. And I really like Grace. I, I like them all for different reasons, I guess. I do. But I do not like Whitman. I don't like him at all. Alright, let's see, are we getting closer? There, now it's stuck, so now we just have to pull it away and it will pull the thing away from the door. So that we can get inside. This gear is so great to use. Oh, you got the door. Finally, I impressed you. Let's get you out of here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, well, that looks like my dance career is over. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You kill us. I'm not gonna make it out of here, Laura. Take the tool. Not without you. How often does a guy like me get to be a hero? No one to run! The others are counting on us. Go! Now! Oh no, and we have to get out here quickly before anything happens. So as you can see now we can zip line on this rope really quickly up. And this looks super cool, really nice. So that really is that really is super sad. That, um, in my opinion, well, Roth is probably the most sad death in the game. But I think that one was really sad as well. The Alex, it's really sad that he kind of like um, after himself, so that Lara could get the gear out of there safely. That was really nice. He really is a hero. He really is. Uh, so now we just need to get um, the gear back to camp to the rest of our endurance crew so that we can finish uh, 
fixing up the boat. And then uh, we can use it to go inland to the ritual chamber, as Lara was talking about in the previous part. Old log books. Months of excavation has at last yielded new information concerning the weather patterns gripping this island. The tomb of an important general dating from the Kamakura period was discovered in our coastal dig site. This discovery is the missing piece of the puzzle. It will allow us to finally gain control of the storms. Ancient ruins in the old base. Control over the storms. I need answers. Alright, so there are ancient ruins in the old base. So we'll actually be going there after we've um, returned to camp and uh, talked with the rest of our crew members. Sam and Jonah and Reyes. That's actually the only ones who are left. And Whitman, of course, Whitman too. Can't forget Whitman, even though I don't like him. Yeah, so people are dying, really. A lot of people have died uh, at this island. It's really sad. And I really love using our new gear. Just look how easy it is to pull the ropes and all of that stuff now. It, it's so easy now. So quick too. I really like it. It is really one of my favorite gears. Which is 1873. Yeah, a really old coin from the 1800s. That's interesting. Here's some plants and fruits and things for Lara to eat. We are now at the old bunker, as you can see. And we're pretty much taking the same way back to camp, but it, it's not really the same way. We're taking like an easier road. Um, that's a bit easier for, and it goes much quicker. And we can also use our new gear on all of the ropes to go much quicker back to camp, which really helps, of course. But I can't remember this tunnel. I can't remember us going through this little tunnel here, actually. I don't know why, I just can't. Mm, where are we now? Oh, we are at the beach. The shipwreck beach. Okay, great. Now we just need to find the way to go before we can get closer. I bet this is the way to go since it's the rope and we have to use our new gear. Yeah. Uh, something that. I like about this game is that it's not difficult to see where you're supposed to go. It's it's not that it's super easy to see where it goes. Sometimes I do get confused, but you kind of get an idea all the time where you're supposed to be going, which I like. We are now at the grotto. New camp discovered. It's a camp here, which I didn't check into, unfortunately. But I. I really didn't have that much salvage, I think. I can't remember how much salvage I have, but I don't think I have that much, so it's not really any need for me to go to the camp. Not really. So, I won't be going to camp. We'll just be heading back to our crew mates. That's all that we're doing. All right, let's go down the ropes. And here's one of those where you have to jump off and jump on the next one. Oh, Jesus! Oh, I missed it. I'm sorry. That was really like anticlimactic. Whoops. Well, you know, stuff happens. Shit happens. Let's try that again. I sometimes do have problems with it. I, I must uh, confess. But I really like looking at this. Like, look how cool this looks. It's awesome! And now we are back down at the beach. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. We're going to shoot him. And <laughs> he's burning. Oh, and I feel really bad for sh shooting him and killing him. Laura. When we heard the explosion, we thought... Alex. He was still on the ship. Seems anyone caught with you has a pretty low survival rate. Reyes! Better keep your distance, son. Let's just eat, okay? Those bastards went quiet, but it doesn't mean they're gonna stay that way. If I'm going to die in this place, I'm not gonna do it hungry. Save a man's stomach, save his soul. Mm. Finally, a little positivity. Once Reyes finishes the boat, we'll be back to civilization in no time. And what a tale we'll have to tell. A tale? I hope I never hear Himiko's name again. We can take the boat out at high tide. No, we can't. Don't start that bullshit again, Lara. Lara isn't the only one who thinks we're trapped, Reyes. Matthias may be insane, but he was certain about it. I saw it in his eyes. He thinks resurrecting Himiko is the key to getting off this island. God, it sounds crazy. But this whole place is crazy. These storms aren't natural. We have to face that. She's right. When that storm hit the Endurance, I felt it. Something dark, something alive. This place is cursed. Where are you going? There are ruins beneath that old base in the cliffs. Something in there led them to believe they could control the storms. I've got to find out what they discovered. Once we're ready to leave, we're leaving. Whether you're back or not. I won't leave without you. All right, so we're going to um, start the climb up to the research base because there are some um, old ruins there that um, the researchers may believe have something to do with the storms basically and how to stop the storms. So Laura is just going to head up there and see what kind of information basically that she can find there. It's quite uh, interesting actually. I, I like this part of the game. I enjoy this because when I was recording this I am... Um, I can't remember um, this part of the game actually. I, I completely forgot um, what happens um, for the next for the for the rest of the video and I I couldn't really actually remember what happened in the finale. I remember some things of what happened at the end of the finale but I couldn't really remember everything so recording this and playing it again was uh, really interesting because I, I really couldn't remember everything so it was actually like almost like playing the game for the first time again because uh, I was kind of like, oh, I was a bit shocked and it was kind of like experiencing it over again, almost. But at some parts I was like, oh yeah, I remember that happening. Yeah, and that was actually really interesting. But I do really enjoy all of the stuff that happens in the rest of the video and the research base is up there. We have been to the research base before. It's where we uh, threw that uh, candle on the gas and it exploded and it killed that guy. And then um, he asked us to shoot him and then Lara did it. And then she said something really epic, but I really can't remember what she said. I can't remember what she said, but it was really epic, I remember. I feel like I've been doing this this way forever, but I actually haven't. It's only been like, what, a month or something? That's not too long for a let's play. For me, at least. So I haven't really been doing the game this way too long, but it feels like I've been doing it forever. But this is only part 12, so there isn't really that many parts to the let's play. Um, but I have been doing quite long videos. For example, this one is over 40 minutes. And that was the previous part too. So I really do like how I have longer videos. 
um, in this let's play. If you guys enjoy having longer videos, then please tell me, because then I will continue doing longer videos for the next let's plays that I do as well. So tell me if you enjoy longer videos, I really do, or if you want them like 20 minutes or something, or I don't think I want to go under 20 minutes. Uh, 20 minutes is probably the lowest I could go, but I have some um, videos in Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 7 that are shorter, but that's because I don't want to mix it up and I don't want it to be like um, messy. But if you don't like 40 minute videos or even 30, then please tell me and I, I'll do like 20 minutes each video. But uh, you need to tell me so that I know what you like, so that I don't do any mistakes. Because feedback is always welcome. It's always welcome. It's not like I get pissed off or anything or you give me feedback or something I should do. I want the feedback. I want to know what I can do better. Of course I do. Or if you don't if you don't want to write in the comments in the YouTube video, then you can just send me a message, a private message or a tweet or whatever at my Twitter. My Twitter the link to my Twitter is always in the description of every single video that I upload nowadays. So yeah, you can reach me on Twitter too if you don't feel like writing a comment on a YouTube video. But yeah, you decide that yourself. So we're almost at the research uh, place now. And there are some guys up here as well, so you need to be careful. I'm actually going to get up to this area and we're going to sneak a bit and I'm, I'm going to try and do some headshots with the fire arrows. I really love doing headshots because when they're when the guards or the guys are standing completely still, I usually have more time to um, figure out where to aim. Because as I said before, I don't I'm not really that great at aiming in the game. Um especially at like in the middle of a battle where there's a lot of things happening uh, and I can't really stop and you can stand completely still and aim. So I like it when the guys are just like doing something else or so that I can um, concentrate on actually aiming properly and take them out. And I especially love it when they're taking a piss so that I can sneak up behind them and take them out or, or do some headshots when they're pissing. As you guys know, I love it when they piss. It sounds so strange. That I love it when they piss. It's not that I love that they piss, it's just that I like killing them when they are taking a piss, I guess. I don't know, it's just funny. It it feels really satisfying for some reason to... I don't know, I don't want to sound crazy to, I don't know, kill a guy. Kill a guy when he's pissing. Okay, that sounded really strange. It feels like I... It sounded like I hate boys in general. I don't! I love boys, but let's not talk about that. Um, yeah, we're inside the bunker. All of these huge machine guns are completely wrecked inside these bunkers. Of course, it's from the Second World War, so of course it would be all destroyed. Alright, so we're going to try and discover the ancient tomb at the research base, so we're just going to drop down into the water. Into that disgusting water, I mean. It really is disgusting, I hate looking at it. I would not want to swim or walk in that water. And we just found a GPS cache, which I always have troubles finding. Good thing that I'm not doing this game 100%, because I would not be able to do that at all. I don't know how many people have actually done this game 100%. Probably a lot. Since it is a really amazing game. It really is. Really great. One of the best games I've ever played. It really is. So good. Alright, where to go now? 
Okay, down there. Yeah, and there's guys here as well. Yeah, look at all those bodies. Oh my god, they just said that the Oni are here? Really? I don't want them to find Lara and kill us. I don't want that to happen. I hate those Oni guys. They're really scary, like super scary. And there's a camp here too, if you need it. Okay, let's be careful. Headshot. Yep. And this guy didn't even notice it. That's a bit weird. Like he's standing two meters away from his friend and he doesn't hear him getting shot through the head with an arrow. That's a bit strange. I don't know. I feel like he should have he heard it. Or is that just me? I don't know. Anyways, let's do some bow upgrades and stuff. Just to try to upgrade some stuff before we continue on. Alright, so... And I just got a trophy as well, that's nice. A bookworm! Nice. I haven't gotten every trophy for this game, so it's nice that we're getting a few trophies. Yeah, I'm playing... Uh, I have the PlayStation 3, I don't have a PlayStation 4. Unfortunately, I wish I did have a PlayStation 4, that would be great. For some reason, I didn't figure out what I was supposed to do here. You're just supposed to press the button. You're not supposed to shoot at it. This was like one of my dumbest moments in the last play. Just press the button. Just press square. That's all you have to do. It's really not that difficult to press a button. Alright, so this is... Um, Quite a confusing part actually, it took me a long time and that's why I have a lot of editing going on here and I'm not good at editing, editing so you'll see like strange uh, cuts here and there. What we have to do is that the tomb is located at the lower levels so we need to use the elevator to do that and for some reason I'm just running around. I think I was just trying to get an overview of what's going on or what it looks like or just think about what I'm supposed to be doing but you just want to press the button first make the elevator go down of course oh, the elevator is jammed all right so the elevator is jammed so what you want to do you just saw a cut you just want to do this. You have to do that with all four of that uh, of those um, things on the elevator. I don't know what to call them. I really don't. But you have to do it with all four of them. Um, it is really confusing. I remember I, I was really confused while doing this and I spent over 10 minutes doing this and there's disgusting bodies flying everywhere and stuff. Yeah, the research base is disgusting. You're supposed to go through there, but I didn't notice it until now. And what I have to do now is actually to drop it down again. I'm just lifting it up now. And now that the elevator is going up, you can go outside like this. And then we can get across here. And there's some salvage, by the way. That's nice. That's always nice to get. Three out of three shotgun parts found. That's amazing. That's really good. Perfect. And that's another one of those things. So. Yeah, it's great that we found another shotgun part. Now we can try to upgrade that. Will we get to another base? I don't know uh, when we'll get to another base though, I can't really remember uh, when that's happening. 
Probably not too long. So we'll see when we get there. You're just supposed to go down like this. Just go down there. Just drop down. You won't die or anything. It's fine. And I think this area right here is pretty scary. Like, is it just me? Or is it really scary? I find it really scary. I was actually a bit frightened when I was playing this. Because I think it's a bit scary here. Yeah, got to pry those other parts loose. Yeah, we got some stuff to do. We really do. Alright, so we can go over here now and do this part. Okay, just just like that. Go. That's the third one. Now you just have one more to fix. Just one more. And that's the last one. Alright, so time for another cut in the video. There. Now the last one. You just want to, on the third floor, climb up here, and then pry off the last one. I think that did the trick. And that dropped the entire elevator down. Perfect. So of course we can't use, uh, it's too far to jump down by the way. We of course can't use the elevator because it's destroyed. Um, but it's now made a way for us, basically, to the lower levels and to the tomb. So we can go out here. Just be careful, because there are actually some guys here as well. They don't sound very happy being here at work. They really don't. Maybe we should help them and make them more miser less miserable. Headshot! <laughs> I just got experience and it said headshot! 15, plus 15 headshot. That's nice. Alright, so we help them to not be miserable, I guess. Okay, we're supposed to go through here. And here is the tomb. Look at that. Let's go up and take a look. These figures, warriors, they're in Himiko's tomb. And is this you? Were you some kind of general? You committed seppuku. But why? Oh, it's beautiful. It's still sharp. failed, my queen. The ritual was corrupted. The priestess knew only death could save her and took her own life. Now the first and last queen lives a half-life, a soul in a decaying body. Her rage became the storms and would not stop while her soul is tied to this earth. My storm guard are sworn to protect her. They must continue, but I cannot. trapped in a decaying body. That's what's causing the storms. To stop the storms, we need to destroy the body in the ritual chamber. How the hell am I going to convince the others?
Alright, so we just got a lot of neat information. Oh no, the guys are coming! Damn it, now they're all attacking us. So we need to fight, of course, to try to get out of here. But we just got a lot of new information. Um, the reason, because of the storms, is that uh, Himiko's soul is trapped in a decaying body. Um, and we just thought out that what might help um, get rid of the storm so that we can get off this island is to destroy the decaying body. So we need to find uh, Himiko's um, body, basically, again, and destroy it. And that's how we were going to get off this island. And I'm almost dying, actually. Be careful, don't die. I don't want to die. Yeah, there's lots of guys coming, by the way, so you need to be very careful and try to be a bit quick, too. It's not a very fun this. But there are some explosive, explosive barrels and some places so you can shoot at, so everything explodes. Uh, I feel like that helps a lot with the different things, at least. I'm just, oh, ammo, my ammo is going out. Oh my god. And no, I died. Alright. You just have to try again, I guess. But I need some more ammo. I can't fight without ammo, you know. I guess we'll just use the shotgun. We don't really have that many weapons in the game. We have enough weapons, of course. We don't need men more weapons. I'm just saying we only have them. But that's okay. We don't need that mo much more. I think it's fine with four. Some video games have like too many weapons, and it's like, what's the point, you know? Why do you need a hundred thousand weapons? It's fine with four. Completely fine. There, I think that was it actually. Yeah, it seems like that was it. Thankfully, that was it. Let's just get some salvage. We um, really deserve it after that fight, I think. Now we just need to find a way to get out of this tomb and get back to our crew members before they leave without us, as Reyes said that they would do. But Sam, of course, won't leave us because she loves us and she's our friend. But Ray said that they would leave, so we need to be quick and get back. Oh, be careful here. Don't die, of course. I think those things when you have to like jump at a at a at like a moment and then you can have to grab on with axe. Those m moments are like really tension filled, and I always feel like I'm going to fall off, but I usually don't, so it's fine. Oh no! Our crew members are getting attacked! We need to get back to them as quickly as possible because of course they need our help and Lara is... Um, <laughs> she's a massacre... what's it called when you do massacres? A massacreist or something? Anyway, she's the... I don't know, soldier? She's the... She's the battle woman, I guess. She's superwoman, we can t t um, refer to her as. So they need our help, so we need to get go back to them as quickly as possible. Thankfully, there's lots of ropes that we can just use our new gear with. 
and get back as quickly as we can. Very simple. Uh, so we're going to get into a cutscene straight as we get down there, so I won't be able to say anything. The next part will be the last part of the let's play. Hope you like the video. Like it, comment, subscribe, co share the video. And follow me on Twitter. The link is in the bio. See you in the next part for the finale. Seriously, I thought that was it for me. There's no sign of him. What happened? During the attack, Whitman took Sam and they disappeared. He's taken her back to Matthias. We should have listened. Fuck. I should have listened. So what's our next move? The boat's fixed now. We should get help. I bet they thought that too. Look, you were right about Whitman, You've but... seen the storms. They target any craft that comes near. There were scientists here during World War II, and they believed the storms were controlled by something in a ritual chamber near the monastery. Look, I don't have all the answers, but Sam being taken, I know it's linked. And if we try to leave here without understanding why, then we'll all die. Just like the pilots. Just like Roth. Look. Whatever's happening here, Lara deserves a shot. We can't go back to their stronghold. It'd be suicide. They won't take her there. They'll take her to the ritual chamber. We can use this inlet to get closer. Look, I know you want to get home to your daughter. Believe me, I do. But the fight's not over yet. I'm not asking you to believe, Reyes. I'm asking you to trust. Okay. Let's get this thing in the water. Whenever you're ready to go, come aboard. <laughs>